Hey everyone, this video we're going to be talking about how to check if items are in a list. So we could consider this in a lot of different scenarios. Maybe you have a shopping list and you want to check if something's already in there so you can add it if it's not. Or maybe you have a backpack and you need to check if an item is in there so you can use it. So we can do all kinds of variations with this. Right now we're just focusing on the logic part, but this can be applied to numerous different applications. So how do you do this? All you have to do is say what you're looking for. So we're gonna look for chicken pot pie. And then you say in healthy. And what we can do is we can surround this and press the left parentheses to put parentheses around it. Hit the left arrow key a few times and say print. And this will print true or false. And right now we get the value false. And the reason it's false is because this value is not inside of this healthy list. So you can consider this going through and saying, is chicken pot pie equal to pizza? And that's gonna evaluate to false. So then it does it again and says, is chicken pot pie equal to frozen custard? And it goes through each element to see if chicken pot pie is part of that list. Ultimately, it's not found. So the entire expression chicken pot pie in healthy will evaluate to false. Using this capability, we can actually branch our software. So we can say, if chicken pot pie in healthy, colon, what are we gonna do? Well, we're probably gonna throw it out because chicken pot pie is disgusting. But other than that, let's say we're actually looking for something good, such as pizza. If pizza isn't healthy, then what are we gonna do? We're going to eat it. And this pound sign, or the hashtag as you youngsters call it, this here is an example of a comment, and you can put anything you want here, and it's fine, it's not going to affect your code. So, whenever we need to describe something, we can use a comment. So instead of just a comment saying eating it, we could actually just print a message. We could say eating the pizza. So running this, it says eating the pizza. That's because pizza is found inside of the list. So this evaluates true, and the indentation is executed. If we did put something that wasn't healthy, you know, it's not gonna work. How do you even spell broccoli? Broccoli. All right, it is spelled broccoli. <laughs> Obviously that's not in there, right? So this is not going to execute. We run this and nothing happens. 